Hello everybody and welcome back to another Salty Soup Reacts video. Dom, have you been following your nine tenants? Oh, the ancestral tenants? Yeah. We're pretty much eating meat now, like 90%. Good. For sure. Okay, so yeah, tenant two is to eat meat. If, if you're true to your word and you have been eating meat, I... I present to you this video. I want to test your skills. Are you able to identify a meat eater out of six veg uh, vegans? Well, obviously, it's going to be the oh, guy who's got the biggest, best six pack. It's going to be the guy with the biggest dick. <laughs> we brought together seven vegans. I'm vegan. I am vegan. I'm a vegan. I am vegan. I am a vegan. I am a vegan. I am a vegan. I am vegan. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. So you fully understand the premise now. There's seven people, six of them are vegan, one of them's a meat eater, and their whole goal is to weed out that meat eater. That's a lot of vegans. That's, I don't know how they found six vegans. Okay, Brandon, yes. what do you eat for breakfast? This morning I had buckwheat, buckwheat hot Pause. at almond. He's a vegan. He's a vegan? 100%. No carnivore or ancestral human knows what buckwheat is. That's, that's one of the... Buckwheat sounds super ancestral. Buckwheat is one of the characters from The Little Rascals. Who eats buckwheat in the morning? Like, I know people do, but... This person is a vegan. I mean... Flaming vegan. Yeah, this, this person is out and proud vegan. Um, I'll be honest, I eat everything on bread. I have to. Because like, I just, I'm a recent vegan. I've been vegan for like five months. It's a challenge I did for myself. Oh, you've only been vegan for five months? <sighs> Blonde girl's been vegan all of her fucking life, nerd. Or maybe this guy is just claiming to be vegan. You think that this person puts three hair clips in their hair and then doesn't try the vegan lifestyle? All right, I want to pause it right here because this is our first wide shot of the entire group. This is our first chance to weed out the vegan. I'm going to let you make a decision and then I'm going to choose the meat eater. I'm going to make the right decision. Afro is my guess. He's got his jeans cut off. He's a little bit more of a rock star. Okay. Look at his stance, by the way. We have to look at people's stances ever since the Shit. second, first video. You have to look at stances. His stance is very powerful. Even though he's got his hands on his side like a little teapot, I'm still going for Afro Man over here. All right, well, my guess is Short Girl. What are y'all's favorite restaurants? Pat. You guys check. Can I change my guess now? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Go oh. North Hollywood. Is this like awesome? It's really it's Cajun vegan restaurant. Oh yes, uh, yes. You know, um, dude, I literally been taking. Oh my gosh, I talk, I took it? my friend Hannah. Or, uh, She's or, actually or, a big or, YouTuber something. as well. Actually, my friend Hannah is this really big YouTuber, and uh, we totally went to this place. Did I mention that she is a big YouTuber? Her name is Hannah. That first- You the, might know her. The her first guy here, he keeps giving me more vibes like he's making these stories up like- <sighs> He I feels met, like a fucking liar. I, ser I went up on YouTube and searched these vegans that are nearby and found right. out what restaurants they like. Oh, uh, my friend Hannah on YouTube and everybody that wa is from this area is like, oh yeah, we watch her. You know what I mean? You can usually spot a liar when they start throwing in details. Like, you could have just said, um, I can't remember the name of it, but there's this vegan Cajun's place down the road. You didn't have to go. Actually, I went there with my friend Hannah. She's this giant fucking YouTuber. You might know her under the name Hannah. <laughs> You've heard of a Hannah before on YouTube? He's giving me liar vibes, He's man. giving me like, liar he's vibes, giving, for he's sure. He's just giving stories out. Brandon, what's your favorite like, restaurant? My favorite. I go to Taco Bell all the time. Yeah. What do you get at Taco Bell? What the fuck, bro? Buckwheat. Listen, Blondie is singling out buckwheat. She, uh, the first question asked was directed towards buckwheat. The second time she got to speak, she 
ask Buckwheat again about Taco Bell. We haven't heard anything from these middle ladies here. How dare she gang the, up on Buckwheat? And those sweet little soul. The leprechaun blonde here is really taking control of the situation. She's definitely one of the higher ups in the vegan hierarchy. Yeah, for I'm sure. I get a crunch wrap, but swap out the beef and get some beans in there. See, also swap out the sour cream and the cheese. And yeah. Don't they use eggs beans. in their like in their wraps? I hope they don't. Yeah, but I hope they don't either I, because then that wouldn't be vegan. See, I think Brandon I, I, here, I hate her. I think Brandon here is trying to do the best he can do in life. Imagine making the choice like for whatever your reason is, like you're going to cut out meat and dairy or whatever, and you're getting shit on by Queen Vegan because there are, there are eggs in the ramps and you're not vegan enough for me. I don't know why she was coming at me. I don't know if it's like the way I look. I don't look like a vegan. Um, why is everyone here a vegan? I'm vegan because I actually moved out here. I felt like I was like, all right, he's if I mess up, so I can much. He's got, he's got so much of a dang story to give. Like he's been thinking about this forever. Like, oh, I got everything planned out. They're gonna ask me why I'm a vegan, look, where, where my <laughs> restaurant is. She, this girl's not even buying it. She's she, like side eye smirking. She's seeing right through him. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna continue doing it. If you I guys, we have four minutes left. Sorry to oh, interrupt yeah, you, but we have four out. minutes. Sorry. I want to hear from oh, other sorry. people. Sorry. I want to know. The reason I did it can is you, because I wanted to prove can, oh can you, can you, we got, we got it. Here's the thing. I don't, you don't actually need to hear everyone else speak because you're already eliminating Buckwheat. You're already writing Buckwheat's name on the paper. So don't act like, you're just asserting your dominance right now, cutting this guy off. Jalen was just taking up all the time so that I couldn't find any information about anybody. I've been vegan for almost three years. I kind of just followed like blogs and stuff and then I found out I had like high cholesterol. I like cold turkey, just like quit it. The more I learned about it and educated myself, the more I wanted to keep going. So that was my guess for the meat eater. I'll, I'll admit that I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my answer locked in. But she gave a convincing argument to why she might be a vegan. I went vegan for my health, for my skin. It's kind of helped. It hasn't helped that much. But I think just when I was doing it, I was like, why go back? Kind of like you, like I could do it, and I don't think there was a huge like pressing environmental factor. It was just like I can do it right now. So it's, why exactly go back? Doing. And it's like been good. So it's almost been like a year. So kind of similar to you. It, Right now, the blonde girl's going, that's not good enough. That's, there were eggs in those tortilla wraps. That's not good enough. So I've been vegan for almost 10 years combined. Um, started off when I was 21 years old. What if she, this is just an all an act and really she's the carnivore this whole time? <laughs> oh my God. That would God. be a mind blower. Like yesterday, it? she had long brunette hair. <laughs> Yeah. And she was wearing like a pantsuit and working her corporate job and just like eating a McDonald's cheeseburger because that's all she could like fucking fit she, into her busy schedule. She's like, oh, I'm going to trick all these people. I'm going to look like a hipster and I'm going to win this money because they're all going to think I am the biggest uh, vegan oh of all my time. God. She's playing 4D chess. This is, yes, exactly. God damn. And for almost, I was drinking heavily and I just wanted to be feeling like better in my body, so... Took a yoga class, went vegan overnight, went raw vegan for two years, uh, became a raw food chef. I'm a yoga teacher now, um, yeah. I went vegan kind of as like a transition. I was pescatarian for 10 years. Um, and we have two minutes. Um, I so, want to, can we ask, <coughs> oh, not, I don't want to cut you off, yeah, but I want to ask so, specific. This I don't, girl I don't, don't want to cut you off. Shh, shh. I don't want to cut you off, but oh please shut the God. fuck up. Stop talking while I talk. She got like, everything about her life in and this guy gets one thing out before he gets cut off and he and he said we have two minutes before he started talking he could have fit it there's so much i could tell you in two minutes about myself and how i love to shove meat down my filthy gullet what is your favorite documentary oh. that helped you go with the oh help me go vegan i kind of watched like those youtube ones which ones like what what name one i don't remember the names i like saw them in the blogs that i was talking about and like, which block? Um, it was called. It was like this girl. Her name is Emma. Oh, oh no! I'm starting to think that I'm. She I'm starting really, to think that I'm right. She really went after her. Put her on the spot, though. Like, if you tried to tell, ask me, what is my favorite YouTuber on a specific subject? What's your favorite documentary? Go ahead, name one. Just name a documentary. Just for the love of God, oh, name a God. documentary. Just uh, name a single documentary. Bowling for Col Columbine. That's what you reached for? Man, my... <laughs> dark? Too dark? I watched the VR 
this actually helped encourage me. And I watched um, from a first person perspective. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, um, Ooh. cows getting butchered. Oh, no. From, you could see them getting cut up. Excuse me? He watched cows being butchered in VR? Hello? I want to tune into that channel. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm sure it's the it's the vegans that went and filmed it and put it into 3D, right? So you're telling me that someone's like, I gotta push this vegan agenda. They went in with two GoPros strapped to their head because that's what you need for a 3D like VR experience. You need like the double angle to mm. create depth. Sure. And just stood there while they were killing cows. If you're, I don't know, I don't know. That seems so wild that His stories are so he, wild man. he seems like the secret meat eater she had a little more makeup on and she had nail polish on and so i guess in my head i think vegans just go for the more natural sort wow, of look wow that's so um did you know that there are eggs in that nail polish that's a good point Oh, she's out. What is your favorite soap? If if Aaron is the meat eater, I'm going to shit my pants, literally in front of you. That would be the the craziest twist ending of all videos. What is your favorite soap that you use? Oh my gosh, I'm more vegan for like food related reasons. Maybe right, like but typically, like if you're vegan, yeah, then you know, know you use all your products that you love. I. Identify as a vegan, but I do it more so for food related reasons not exactly because I like did it for my health Can you explain to me why she's upsetting me so much? I don't want to f I feel because like I'm being mean her definition of vegan is so much more in depth and and There's so much more criteria this guy He's like I just don't want to eat meat <laughs> right. man I think like in this circle like there would still be people who like identify themselves as vegan even if it's like food related or like something else like the range is like but there's like ethical. levels yeah yeah but I think like the on man out wouldn't be someone who like yeah. is like me like just doing it for food yes. buckwheat is trying to say fuck this lady who is like telling me I'm not a vegan because yeah. I, I I use Irish spring or whatever yeah. the hell it is right right now she's going it turns out I'm the only vegan here. Nobody's a vegan. Yeah, exactly. I'm the only vegan. Exactly. You guys always ask me questions too. I like questions. We know you do. Do you eat honey? <laughs> do you eat? Actually, honey don't even. Like, I don't eat honey. True. Yeah, I, I don't. I just don't at all. I eat honey, but. Honey isn't vegan. Oh, there it is. You crossed the line. Honey isn't vegan. Sorry, but you can't be a vegan if you eat honey. God, no, now she's annoying me. I'm pretty tolerant. That went over the line. <laughs> that went over the line. I think they made me feel like my reason for being a vegan wasn't good enough because it wasn't coming from the same place that they were. So far, you've said that you don't really consider yourself vegan. I think because if When the fuck did he say that? When the fuck did he say, I don't consider myself a vegan? The, the goal of this is to try to find the person that's lying not the person that's the shittiest vegan. Right, not the person that's not vegan enough for you. Right, she's just assaulting this guy for just not f passing her criteria. Find right the now. person who literally will eat a hamburger after this. Right. Not the one who Shop uses honey on his buckwheat. And showers with Irish Spring. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like, I'm just like being real with you guys. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, I I'm try my best so to how like, many, be So how vegan. many years have you been vegan? Oh no, it's been like less than a year, like eight months. Actually, the, the fresco style at Taco Bell is supposed to be vegan. I did, he didn't mention that. He said that he got the taco and then he removed everything and then yeah. he mentioned that later on. She hates this guy. Yeah. She's like really singling him out. Yeah. She's the villain in this video. I want to eat a hamburger in front of her face. I want to shove a hamburger in my asshole in front of her. <laughs> like I'm not even eating it. I don't even care. I have seen vegan YouTubers who like go to Taco, Taco Bell like and like can make it vegan vegans. just to show yeah. people that like it can be like Not convenient. I don't know why you guys are <laughs> oh, <I> just, <laughs> trying to yeah, tell yeah. me about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh! <laughs> what? 
Look, I don't, I don't know. know why you guys are trying to tell me about vegan. I am are, queen vegan. I am. You guys are amateur vegans, and I am the pro alpha omega <laughs> vegan. Okay. You know, I've been doing for this for ten years, and I teach yoga. <sighs> I can't imagine those yoga classes, by the way. I was that the body that she's I can, just interrogating people, like she's waterboarding them, asking them what they had for breakfast. Yeah. Was it buckwheat? Don't talk to her. The Beyond, Meat. The Beyond, Meat. The Beyond Meat. Why don't you go like there if you're week. vegan? I thought Aaron was pretty aggressive. Anybody What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy, most candies without gelatin in it. Nerds. Like name one. Name one. Nerds. Sour Nate, Patch name Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't yeah. vegan. No, oh my God. Okay, well, Brandon is gonna is about to get voted out. One, he's, but he's finding out now that he's not a <laughs> vegan. Actually, he's like, apparently, I'm just a shithead. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, I'm just annoying. <laughs> oh my God, poor Brandon. Maybe I'm not a vegan. I don't <laughs> like. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I thought they were. But I mean, you know. What's your favorite candy? I don't eat candy. Really? Oh, our buddy. It didn't seem that his ethics and his values were in alignment with the diet because... That is fucking insane that to be a vegan, your ethics and values have to be in line with your diet. That's not what vegan means. Vegan means you don't eat meat and dairy. You don't eat any animal byproduct. Right. That's all it means. That's where the line gets drawn. If you want to be a vegan, you don't do those things. Typically, when you are vegan, everything surrounding you matches that. I don't think that's what vegan means. It doesn't. Bye, guys. Bye, Brandon. See ya. Buckwheat. I'm not Dang like it. really a part of the vegan community, I feel like. I have one vegan friend. I could have had five vegan friends, but they voted me out, so. <laughs> Because you eat Sour Patch Kids, man. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the square. If the lights turn green, you voted the liar out. If the lights turn red, the liar's still in the box, and red. you lose. Red, okay, red, everyone looks red, so red, 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 red. I feel a little bit red. more secure in this. Oh, shit. Dang, oh. dog. No. Is it Mr. It's Ty? Ty guy. It's Mr. Ty. It's Ty guy. It's 100% the Ty guy. Oh, oh my god. I found the mole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was so easy, you, easy, you stupid you vegan. I, listen, I don't care the results of it Are at you? all, as long as the blonde hair didn't get a fucking scent. <laughs> all you did was make some other wannabe vegan turn to meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor Brandon is now like just eating a burger, crying at buckwheat all. Buckwheat is throwing away all his buckwheat right now. He's like, why, why have I been eating this shit all this time? Am I gonna, in, in, in 10 years, am I gonna turn into her? Dude, he went, to, he went straight to Taco Bell and ordered a big old crunch wrap supreme with double beef and sour cream and cheese and he's just mowing down on it right now before he ordered it he's like are there eggs in your tortilla wraps and they're like um actually no and he's like crack a couple in there <laughs> yeah put a couple in man <laughs> fry fry them up real quick i'm like if i go first i can speak the most and make it seem like an accident. So I just want time to run out. So it felt good because people got annoyed and they didn't want to hear from me. So they pushed me aside and started talking to everybody they else. They did. That Aaron chick was that is so... True. Yeah. <laughs> he kept fucking talking and talking and Aaron just wanted to like find someone to be upset with. So she kept cutting him off. That's why no one suspected him. Aaron ruined this game for everyone else. Everybody, thank you for watching. If you could please like and sub to the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.